And now to a frightening scene on the south side of Indianapolis. A small plane crashing around 4 o'clock today near the UND campus killing one person. This video was taken by viewer Doran Berger showing the extensive damage there at the crash scene. Tonight our Lauren Kostick has been covering this story for us and shares the latest on this investigation. Yeah, that's pretty scary. In this south side neighborhood. I was sitting at the light over here and I just seen it. It just straight down. People couldn't believe their eyes. If he's going straight nose down. It could have been, you know, really anything. A small plane falling from the sky. And we just see a plane going down pretty fast and we we're like, oh my goodness, like, we like we couldn't tell if it was landing. Yeah. It seemed way yeah. too low and it was going way too fast downwards. To it looked like almost a 45 degree angle or so, but it was heading pretty straight down. It was kind of wobbling a bit. That plane crashing near these train tracks on Weaver Avenue. Oh, is this a person? People rushed to help, including Tina Thompson. I'm still shaken up. She was leaving work at the time. There was no flames. It was just a, a loud boom. Um, it came down in a 45 degree angle. There was no spinning, it just nose down. Police say a person inside was found dead. FAA investigators later arrived on scene to take over the investigation. The federal partners are going to have to come and do a lot of investigating to find out and get into that. You know, we try to stay out of it as much as possible. As investigators piece together what happened, they're also asking neighbors to check for video. Anyone in the area that would have saw something, maybe if you have a ring camera or some type of video that where they had seen what happened with the plane, that's going to be helpful for their, our federal partners while they're doing our investigation. A tragic situation that has left this neighborhood confused and heartbroken. So Lauren, do we know the cause of the crash yet? Scott, that is the big question yeah. tonight and something that might take some time to get that answer and the FAA is leading this investigation. Yeah. We'll look at several factors of this crash and it's also not clear tonight where that pilot was taking off or also going. All right, as soon as we get that answer, we'll pass it along to you. Lauren, thanks.